Hey everybody, um, I've got the Sony Bravia TV here and it's, it's got that problem that you might have. It's dark in the middle and I've got this flickering. I've got this flickering up here in the top right hand corner. I got this for free and I thought maybe I can, you know, maybe I can make a fix and, and get it working. It's just for my office. Um, the one thing I found, I found lacking in the YouTube videos, you've probably watched them where they take it apart, they expose these tabs on the back and they... They, they touch them and boom, the picture's back. The one thing I found lacking in those videos was it didn't walk you through taking, the, the, taking it all apart, taking the back off and, and those, those steps. And that's what I want to do. Um, I'm not a technician. I won't be using a voltmeter or anything. This is just going to be taken apart, you know, see if we can't find where there might be an intermittent connection or something. I'm going to put my little Sony Handycam on so I can give you two angles. Give you some close-ups uh, as I'm going through it and, and the wide shot. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so actually it's the next day and, and we've had a bit of a wardrobe change here. But uh, anyway, let's get started. I put the uh, I put the TV on a coffee table with a quilt underneath to protect the screen, obviously. And the first thing you want to do, unplug that power, unplug that power cable. And before I even get any further, you know, I'm not a technician. And if you're not happy with doing this kind of thing or comfortable with doing this kind of thing, you know, you might want to rethink it. But um, anyway, let's get started. So we're going to take off the back cover. And one of the first things I wanted to show you is over here, I had a lot of trouble finding these screws. I've done this once before. And I had a lot of trouble finding these screws. And there's two little screws right here. And all these screws are marked with like a double arrow. You can see that. All the screws that were taken off to release this back cover are marked with a double arrow. So let's start with these two little guys. All you need for this is a Phillips, a medium sized Phillips and a small one. These ones are pretty small. So you can see these are marked with this double arrow. This one's a solid arrow. This is kind of like a double arrow. Those are, those are what we're taking out to get the back cover off. And there's a lot of them. Okay, so uh, we've got all the screws out. Like I said, a lot of screws. I'm using the A carton. Kind of organized stuff. So let's take this off. See what happens here. Come on, it just comes right off like that. Put it over here out of the way. So there we go. There's the. Uh, there's what it looks like with the cover off. And what you want to do here is, you know, you just kind of got to look around and. And sort of figure it out um, and I'll see if I can help you here start over here oh, we don't need that and so obviously you're gonna have to unplug some of this stuff as you go and a lot of them are push a lot of them are push and pull type plugs this is the uh, speaker enclosement. It just, it's held on with the outside cover screw. So you just need to take one screw off there to get that off. Put that over here where I can see it. Oh, yeah. Same thing over here. You just gotta press that. I just that just lifts right off. <clears throat> this here, uh, one of the input sides, um, it's held on with a real fine ribbon wire. So I just left that alone. I just <clears throat> I just let that hang out as I took it apart. Um, let's start uh, with the base here. You do have to take the space off. 
show you why in a second. And it just pulls right out. This come off. Remember, remember how that thing goes back on. That can be a bit of a head scratcher. <clears throat> but you have to take the base off so that you can get it this right here. That little fine wire there, that's got to be disconnected before you try to take the back panel off. And there's something else here. This is your on off and all that controller. I took that off. And you're going to need, need that handy when you want to check your TV. Okay, let's see if we can't get this thing apart. So you just have to kind of look at it, figure out what comes off here. A lot of them are marked. They're not all marked. So yeah, so this is where it's real great to have somebody to help because <clears throat> it's kind of awkward, but that just comes up like that. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay, let's take off the back. That lifts off. Okay, so we're almost there. So now, the first time I did this, this foil really didn't want to come off, but you got to take that foil off to get this outside frame off. Okay, now to get this outside frame off, it's pretty easy. It's just a bunch of screws right in the front here on this aluminum frame. And there, there, there are small Phillips. And there's quite a few of them. Okay, so yeah, one more thing I wanted to show you. Well. well, on the back here are these uh, small clips, and they're just pressure fitted. They're just pressure fitted on, and you have to take those off to get to get this aluminum frame out, and then you can uh, get at those tabs. Okay, we're actually gonna change change the wardrobe again and and go back to yesterday when I shot this, so you can see what I was doing with those tabs. Um, it, it really didn't want to come apart, but because I guess I took it off yesterday, it's coming off nice. And I, the way I've got the, the monitor sitting on the floor like that on that angle, it's just kind of slipped off kind of easy. Kind of blocking it. But you can see it has the same problem now in the videos I saw on YouTube. The guys were just going here, start tapping those tabs and picture would miraculously come back and be perfect. I didn't seem to have that luck. We, we fooled around with this yesterday and um, didn't seem to work for me. That's one of the videos I saw, two of the videos I saw, the guys identified which one of these were malfunctioning and then he put some electrical tape on it to try to, obviously they figure it's a loose connection or something. But um, I don't seem to be having any luck with this. Here. This is the 
These are the contacts on top from the TCOM panel. Um, and that's something that they say could be defective on these things. I'm not having any luck with that. Okay, so I might try taking the TCOM panel off and having a look at it. But I really just wanted to show you guys how to take the back and how to take this apart. Because nobody else had really done that for me. So there you go.